Even on the issue of growth and the management of the economy, the propaganda and spin out there is that the JLP do a better job. If you just look at the facts, if you look at the last <laughs> eight years that the JLP has been in office in the country, the average annual growth rate is negative under the JLP. Why don't These, you say that, amplify that? The four that years that they've been in power now and the four years under Bruce Golding, if you were to average out the annual growth rate in those eight years, it is negative. Well, if you, you look at the four, if you look at the last eight years of PNP government, the four years under Portia Simpson Miller, and the last four years before Bruce Bowling, the average annual growth rate is positive, is over one percent per annum, including the highest growth rate in the last twenty years, which was over three percent in two thousand and six. So, so this is a complete lie to mm -hmm. say that the PNP can't manage the economy after it was wrecked and the IMF agreement was put onto the reef. Um, under the Bruce Golding it administration. It was the PNP under Portia Simpson Miller with Dr. Peter Phillips as finance minister mm -hmm. that implemented the structural and you reform. As a minister of the yeah, well, my role was really to ensure that the, the structural benchmarks were met on a timely basis. I was there, I remember. By all the legislation that the IMF required us to do. But it was very hard work. But the truth is that it has set Jamaica on, on a, in very good stead. It has increased the fiscal space. What does that mean? The tax revenue base of the country has grown phenomenally as a result of the ref those reforms. Even without the economy itself growing um, at any appreciable rate, the tax revenues of the, available to the government have outstripped the rate of, of inflation uh, and growth significantly. Uh, what does that mean? There's, there's been more resources to do things. But the question is, what are you prioritizing with the money that you have? Precisely. You have to put the people in the center of development. of development. Social investment in the people, uplift our human capital, uplift our productivity, make us globally competitive. We are great people, but we must invest in our people to achieve our greatness. Well said. Blessed and a wonderful evening to my viewers and to all of my subscribers them out there all over in this world. Big up on yourself. You understand me? I say, now my viewers and my subscribers, remember, in everything you do, always put God first. In every and uh, any situation, just always remember for call upon God. Always remember for pray because a prayer day, keep the devil away. Now my viewers and my subscribers, you know say a lot of we Jamaican we don't even know what is best for ourselves. So we cannot say we know what is best for the country. A lot of us don't even analyze what is going on, much less to realize what is really going on. Just imagine you're in this country called Jamaican land we love, that we believe in Christianity. We believe in the Lord, Jesus Christ, our Savior. And our leader, I go sold us out to the devil. I go change our law from what we believe in to what we don't believe in you understand me i say and you are going to tell me say our leader know what is best for us he is the best person to move us forward just imagine you have a leader that just go about and do anything he feels like without involving the people of his country and when you talk he shuts you up and you are going to tell me say he knows what's best for our country and for our future and not just for our future but for our children and grandchildren and great grandchildren future now, if someone can go ahead and sign a deal for 20 years that will implement a law that Jamaican will not abide by, then you know there's something definitely gone wrong. A lot of people just jump with the knives as well. Them jump. And I'm going to say this, and enough people are going to agree with me. 
PNP now go agree with me and Labour right now go agree with me. And the reason why them now go agree with me is that they are not in favour of this man. Now, a lot of people would classify Mark Golden as a white man. Some would classify him as a master mark or mass mark or anything what they want classify him as. But a lot of people don't listen when Mark Golden speak. And one of the reasons for that why people do not listen when Mark Golden speak is that he is easygoing. Mark Golden is very easygoing. He is not about the hype. He is about the people. The future of the people. So Mark Golden take his time and him talk to the people. Him, him explain to the people him what he is about. But people definitely not get it clear. The reason why the people them not get it clear is that they, re, they, they, they believe in the, 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 the type of um, leaders that are arrogant, arrogant to their people. So people are saying that Mark Golden is too soft, but they are not listening to Mark Golden's message that he is sending out there to you people. Mark Golden now come out and tell us, say, he may drift, and he may not in clocks, and he may go promise you this, and he may go promise you that. Mark Golden come out and he speak to you straightforward. And I believe, I, I strongly believe that if this man get the opportunity to show what he is all about, then I think this man can take the country forward. People. A lot of people, including MPs, don't like Mark Golden. And the reason why they don't like Mark Golden is because Mark Golden do not believe. Mark Golden do not believe in corruption. So, you are going to find a lot of people do not like Mark Golden. And the way our, our mindset set up in a Jamaica is that if one somebody said them don't like this person, then everybody say them don't like the person. They don't try to find out why and what and what make them say them not like the person. Mark Golden can become a very, very good leader for Jamaica. We definitely need a change from the Wallipa promising, the Wallipa hype, the Wallipa jump up, jump up, and the Wallipa baga baga where you can't understand nothing what they must say because them love the noise. Them love when you make one bag of noise so you don't hear nothing. You don't hear the stupidness them. What they must promise you? People are full time now. For people start, vote for themselves. Vote for the future of the country. Vote for the future of their children. Vote for a better Jamaica. And stop vote for hype. And stop vote for nice. And stop vote for the bagger bagger. Because all messy people are jump up and do every day. Is jump up with the bagger bagger. Them no business. What they come after the bagger bagger. Them just want no say. Them the inner the bagger bagger. And if your MP is an MP when I do not work, then you need to let him go. You need to make him know, say, listen, we not work with you. People need to start taking these things in their hands. And stop sit on a pet up man because on a face say yes. Other MP they don't love another MP they don't love on him. But him now do nothing for, for, the, for the community. Him now do nothing. Him now do work when he's supposed to, to do. Them get the money to develop the community them. But at the end of the day, the community them are developed. But on now push them out because on the to love them. On definitely don't love on yourself. On don't want a good for yourself. And on definitely don't want a good for other people as well. Not because you don't want good for yourself. Other people want good. Make them make up their mind by themselves. You understand me? I say it's full time now. Jamaican people stop vote for the hype. Stop vote for the nice. Stop vote for the bagger bagger and vote for what's right for our beautiful island. Vote for people who oh, you know say I gotta go forward. We don't know. And if you know put in somebody and them not do the work what them supposed to do. Oh no but I wait for the five years if you come or the four years if you come. Oh, no, start make nice from early, make them know so on no, a serious. A full time now, for to make people know, say, on a very serious about what Uno do. 
on just not on and just get up and go vote because on love vote on stop all of that on stop all of the traditional pnp and jlp voting but on start vote for the better of jamaica and the better of our children the better of our children and the better of jamaica and the youths them where them can get better job only can get better road for drive pan on can have a safer community for living on can sleep with no door open these people doing it on a need to ask on yourself but on the people have the power in a on hand but you are not using it the right way on use it against each other like when you put up one video and everybody can run come and die you chat too much you're this you're that but yet still when only leaders and no MPs and all of them people they come and they tell them to be a crap, them not chat too much. On a real up, on a love here, the foolishness them. But a uh, one thing we can say, a uh, full time now, on a give the people them, we deserve to live better, a chance in this country. Because to me, a lot of uno don't need no better. Uno no want no better. A lot of uno, uno no want a better. And a whole heap of uno sit down a foreign and uno no come back to Jamaica. But yet still uno mouth in a Jamaican business. And uno make it look like a say uno there Jamaica. Uno know exactly what is going on in this country. It bad. If you see you buy one car and buy two days, three days time, you have to start change parts, pani. Because the damn road no good. A highway alone to drive, pan. Warm to your back road, them. Come on, people, man. A full time now we take a stand. Full time now Jamaican people them start stand up on their foot and start vote for themselves and start vote for politicians. Them are rich. Them are put money in their pocket. Their family are right. They live uptown in a gated community where they're safe. But when they're living at the ghetto where crime and violence I every day think about on yourself. Does it really worth it? Voting for Una no care about you know. Una say everybody will come at the same thing. I uno make everybody will come at the same thing because Una na hold them responsible for what they might do. They might get the money for spend for Una. The people I Una them I work for. Una need for stand up for Una foot. A full time now Jamaican people put politics aside. Or should I say put politics aside. And start stand up on them foot. Vote for someone who is going to make a change. And if that person is not going to make a change, you tell him plain and straight so we now work with you. You don't even wait till the time done. i be a nice on a star make. Just like when you can make nice for one another. When you can go up and eat and go fight on one another every day. Make nice for the people them who are responsible for make sure say on a life alright in this country. My people Say to chat and this down below in the comment section. If I foolish me a chat, tell me say I foolish this me a chat. At the end of the day, leave a like on this video. Give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet and turn on the bell. Check out this video now. Pop holes being patched plus debushing plus truck water me. equals elections are close. Jamaica, the movie Have series. Have you noticed that potholes are being patched in the roads? Have you noticed that roads are being debushed? Have you noticed that water has been trucked? To remote areas have you noticed that even the jamaica piece of crap service is clearing trees from the power lines now why weren't these things done last year christmas the christmas before and the christmas before because no general election was close the only reason why you see these efforts being exerted right now is because the general election in our land jamaica is constitutionally due in a few months so all of a sudden you see people pretending as though they care about our well-being. Oh, you need water, here is water. Oh, you need good roads, here is road. Oh, you need um, a, a clear road to drive and see it here. Oh, um, we're concerned about the kids playing on the playing field and the trees connected to the power line may electrocute them. Why didn't you care about us last year when we were losing refrigerators and other appliances due to the low voltages that we, what we experienced because of these trees hanging to these power lines? So election is, is close now, so everybody is a leader now. You have elected officials in Jamaica right now, MPs, who haven't visited 
sections are there of their constituencies since the last general election. Think a lie, ask the people in Eastern West Poland, they will tell you. Many of them haven't seen their representatives since the last election. But suddenly, water is being trucked, potholes are being patched, and demotion efforts are being undertaken. This is not in our interest in Jamaica. This is not in our interest. How long will we sit back and allow these people to rape us and treat us like prostitutes, uncalled girls, who are only significant to them when they need a vote? It is time that we come together and decide, hey, we are going to vote on policies and not popularity, not familiarity. And this has nothing to do with PNP or JLP. Because all MPs are allotted their budgets. So why are you waiting until a few months before election to utilize your budget within your constituency? Why is it that the people have to wait until a general election is near for them to benefit from their leaders? Why is it that motorists who have to be spending more and more than they earn on their vehicle from their vehicle? Why are they seeing their representative throughout the years? Only when elections are close, Jamaicans wake up, open their eyes. Remember, I know, Jamaica Peace and Crop Service did not believe in debushing. They, 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 they killed us with, 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 with low voltage. The roads were narrowing because bush was growing in the road. Potholes were destroying cars, motorcycles, shoes, prom wheel, everything. A lot of people didn't have drinking water. But suddenly, December 2023, a few months before the general elections, all the efforts are being undertaken to make these provisions. People who open their eyes, you know. Who open their eyes. Do not be fooled. Do not be used. Do not, do not be exploited. You are the country. You are the people. Do not allow a small group to take advantage of all of us.